All right, hello, my fellow wet-shaven degenerates. It's me, Cullen, back with sh pelagic shave number 42. I know that's right because I checked before I got on tonight. Um, tonight, I will be using... Um, you know, it's really hard to say one of my favorite scents because it seems like every time I use this soap... I smell it and I'm like, wow, this is like one of my favorites. Um, I think all of my steps are my favorites because I've gotten rid of everything that I don't like. But tonight I am using the club Fruit de la Passion. This is such a, I love the scent of this. It's such a bright, it's a sweet, uh, you get that passion fruit, but then there's some uh, coloniness going underneath it. Um, it's a very um, complex scent. It's not just a one-dimensional scent. It's very nice, at least to me. That's how I get it. And, of course, I will be uh, using the splash. Um, bowl tonight, I will be using my... Um, Twin Pines wood turning bowl and look at that lather and tonight I'm using my what is this aka tie-dye um, looking brush here uh, didn't, couldn't find anything that really match that label that I have um, and this one was just talking to me tonight so I got this one and it has um, one of my um, prototype knots that I'm working on trying to uh, put something new out there. Um, I have Craig um, with Opus. He's testing one of my knots right now. Um, that's a prototype and uh, he's loving it. So that's always a good thing. Uh, my razor, I will be using my Black Lion Saber for a second night in a row. Uh, but as you can see today, I went ahead and threw that mirror polish on it. Um, you know, from the original matte finish or machine finish it had. So let's get on with the shave and uh, see if it performs any differently. Um, Excuse all the noise, it's my psychotic cat um, fight determined to kill its um, favorite toy, which is a um, little mouse full of catnip. And uh, she absolutely loves that toy um, so much that she lost it. Um, she got it stuck on the refrigerator uh, for a, several days and she was just like moping around the house. And then one day I saw her laying at the fridge acting all weird and uh, found it for her. But prior to that, I found that same toy on Amazon and ordered a box of 30 of them. But this... Uh, this scent is so good, and uh, look at that lather, I and mean, that's a badger brush. It's just so, so creamy, and um, such a great lather. Hold on. Had to give her her toy back or you were going to hear her start screaming for it. Um, well, let's give this bad boy a try. And this is the second use on that same gym blade. Um,
definitely seems to be uh, gliding a lot smoother, which would be expected with a a polished uh, cap on it like that but uh it's like there's no one down the whiskers there um but yeah it turned out um beautiful you can see i got the mirror polished all the way around on it But yes, it definitely uh, glides a lot better. You know, it's so funny the uh, difference in razors um, and how they feel um, and the angles. Because with the Sabre, you have to, um, you know, hit it at your usual angle. which is very easy to find. Um, not difficult at all. Um, you know, whereas with the, uh, above the tie, um, you know, the head, geometry angle this one's actually flatter um, that's a crazy cap um, but the above the tie you have to really have to ride it against your face to get a um, a nice good shave with it I think it's more water in my sink my stopper isn't stopping so good. Um, but yeah, so far, um, first pass. Um, big difference with it being polished. Um, love the scent of the soap. I've never had a passion fruit. Um, But if it smells anything the way this does, um, or if it tastes anything the way um, this does, like if it tastes anything the way this smells, because I haven't, this tastes like crap, it tastes like soap. Um, But this knot, um, it's a super high density knot. It's good for painting, but um, as you've seen one of, uh, scrubbed with it, it uh, splays real easy. Trying to be careful up here. Last night I opened my, cut myself pretty good right there. I 
And I'm gonna just open it up. It's one of those uh, speeding tickets we get from time to time. You know, you get used to wet shaving and uh, It's very easy to get uh, comfortable or overconfident or uh, with uh, shaving with these and um, every once in a while, you know, especially with a new razor, I should pay more attention to what I'm doing because I'm not used to this yet. Um, it's a very easy angle to find, but from time to time, I get out of the angle and that's when it bites me. But I'll be the first to admit that's all my fault because I am a I am a heavy-handed shaver. Um, And so most of my cuts are always from, uh, usually from speeding tickets and uh, because I'm a heavy handed shaver, um, I tend to get bit from time to time. Um, you know, like there's some people you watch on here, <clears throat> you know, uh, like CDB, um, he looks like he has such a light touch. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen him get a nick from a speeding ticket. Whereas me, I tend to, uh, I wouldn't say force the efficiency um, or the shave, but uh, I'm just not. Uh, I'm trying to be more light touched with this. And for whatever reason, gem blades in general, um, even with the above the tie I have to, um, it's kind of like with, what are those one razors? Um, injector razors. Um, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, they tend to uh, irritate my face easily. Now they give an exceptional shave, 
Um, See right there, I just cut myself or I cut myself the other night. That's always fun. Um, especially when you forget where the little places where you get yourself. That's a good thing about shaving this way though. Razor always reminds you when you forget. Yeah, the razor is kind of like um, the Barney Fife of uh, You know, when you're trying to shave and get your shave on and try to look cool doing it, you know, looking in the mirror like, yeah, this is a good shave. And it was like, it's like, remember that place last night? Let me remind you. Um, kind of like Barney Fife, you know. When Sheriff Andy Taylor's trying to do something, and he's like, oh, no, no. And Barney's like, well, don't you remember, Andy? He's like, shut up. You know, that's the razor. You're like, no, I don't ever cut myself. And the razor's like, don't you remember the other night right here? So, little Barney Five here. has reminded me but once again another absolutely phenomenal shave from that razor um, with it being polished it glides even better um, than being paired with a uh, top-notch soap like a A&E soap um, you have to expect a great shave um you know so let me get cleaned up and i'll be back with y'all um with after shave comments thoughts and random uh acts of stupidity but i'll be right back hello and we are back let's go over what we used tonight we used ariana evans the club fruit de la passion absolute beautiful scent I used my Twin Pines Wood Turning Bowl. Um, this is inspired by Sig Solo. Um, and my razor that I have, I totally forgot to clean. Um, and like a martini, you gotta shake it. All right, let's hit some of that magic beauty juice that Peter this uh wow 
the scent of this um, to my nose, I get a lot more <clears throat> of the fruit smell. Um, up front. Um, but you also smell the, uh, all the other notes in there. It's just a, it's just a beautiful scent. Um, I don't know how Peter comes up with these scents that are just so beautiful. Um, and then just one after another. Um, I don't know how the man's brain continues to come up with original stuff. Um, but let me show you this right here. Where's my camera? Where are we? Nope, went too far. Look at that handle. Ooh. Suck it. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Man, that thing is sexy. Didn't uh, do that because of the teeth that are on here to hold the blade. I was afraid of damaging those. Um, but that's polished. Sides and back, of course. Um, And then the top cap, uh, the machine marks on this thing are just ridiculously deep. Um, and I, I really thinned that top cap out, uh, trying to get them out, but they're just, they're there to stay. Uh, they are not going anywhere. Um, Let's see if I can put this blade in right. Every time I load it, I put it in backwards first. Um, but this blade, uh, this razor is so much easier to load. It's um, now I understand why people that had this first and then bought an above the tie uh, complained because this is. Um, no harder to load than a DE blade. And then I used my uh, AKA uh, acid trip brush here um, with my not, look at those tips. That thing is mm, 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 mm. good. That's how it is. That's right. It's slap your mama good because it's that good, at least to me. Um, but tomorrow, I don't know what soap. I think tomorrow it might be Khalifa might be up tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if it is. A, if it is tomorrow, I will be using my new, what did I get? Oh, yeah, my new Sun Making Required brush with my Tempest Knot. Um, and so we'll see how that goes. And I believe it's Khalifa. And I think tomorrow I will do a straight razor shave. Um, I got back my West Point from being honed by Glenn Mercurio. Mercurio, I just hacked your name up and I'm sorry. I pre uh, apologize for that. I had a chip in the blade and I sent it to him to uh, be honed. Um, Made this bad boy today. Um, I showed it to Serge. Oh man, it's got a mark there. Um, I showed it to Serge and he said it looks like a holster um, for the razor. And so because of that, um, it's form fitted. Um, the blue dye from the outside leaked on the inside. Uh, I didn't. <coughs> I dyed the inside a different color, but not very dark. Um, but because of Serge's thought on that, I'm naming this the Gunslinger Holster. Um, and I'll be putting these on my Etsy shop too. 
um, it's form fitted to the exact razor. So, um, you know, this one um, I made to fit my above the tie for the three and a half inch handle. And you can see that it um, goes on in that sucker is in there um you know so going on a travel sip snap that sucker ain't going anywhere you know if you want to be really fancy you can you know put a belt clip on put it next to your cell phone you know uh, try to be a real pimp with your de razor on your side there um, but thank you for tuning in uh, tonight for another, or today, or whatever it is, I don't even know, uh, for another Pelagic Shave. Um, appreciate it. Soon I'm going to have this big son of a gun honed up. Um, this is a, what is this thing? This is a Manhattan uh, cutlery from Sheffield. England uh, it just says Sheffield so it's got to be pretty old um, it is a 13 sixteenths I believe that is 15 sixteenths it's right at an inch so but uh very uh, curious to try that one out there but uh it's dull as butter right now so I have to get that one honed and rescaled. I'm waiting for the scales to come in. Um, but thank you for tuning in for another Plagic Shave. I'll ramble on all night long because my brain is full of empty thoughts and they just regurgitate out. So thank you for tuning in for Plagic Shave number 42. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Cullen. And um, y'all have a good day. Be safe. Take care. God bless.